I want to apologize in advance. I'm a little sick right now, so I'm even a little nasally, a little, little nasally, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I was walking down the street to my uh, local 7-Eleven, I was going to pick up some uh, Arizona iced tea and some uh, Fiji water, maybe some vape, you know, edgy like that, you know, because I'm a special snowflake. And all of a sudden, this kid approaches me, he's wearing Toms and a V-neck that goes way too low, and he asks me, I guess I might have surprised him since I was looking kind of like a normie, you know, just wearing a, my regular day clothes, a polo shirt, some jeans. And my response to him was, yes, I do know who Jean-Paul Sartre is. Why do you ask? I guess I must have triggered him since he just looks at me and has this super hatred in his eyes and says, oh, you're living in bad faith. You're going here to these stores and you're feeding into this consumerism. Oh, it's killing humanity. Shut the hell up. Kid, you don't know anything. Here we're to talk about kids like that. Actually, let me rephrase that. Because, you know, kids have something called innocence before they enter high school. This is teens. That existentialism. Oh, I know you grammar guys are going to have a grade over that. But, uh, I don't really know how else to phrase that. And plus, uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, just sounds the right amount of, a uh, right amount of cringe. The right amount of a meme. The right amount of dank. I think I'm going to go with that. Also, this is an original and funny content. I in no way was inspired by another idea or, or just another genre of, of videos like this. No way. <laughs> this is so original. Yeah, I'm going to rethink my life. That's what we're going to talk about. Existentialism. Essentially, what this is, existentialism, is just a philosophy of uh, concern of existence and human existence as you... <clears throat> go through it. Now, I'm not here to actually give you a lesson on existentialism. If you want that, you can ask your English teacher, and trust me. Oh, I really like his week-long lectures. Those were amazing. Yes! Hey, you live in bad faith? Oh, not me anymore. No, no more bad faith for me, guys. No more bad faith for me. Now, uh, let me clue you in on what exactly bad faith is. So essentially, it's uh, the idea of you are living your life unauthentically. If you're living your life unauthentically, then you're living in bad faith. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example, all right? So let's say uh, little Timmy, right? Little Timmy needs a paper to get signed by his mom, right? So he goes home and he, uh, he starts playing CSGO, you know? Oh, he's getting so close to ranking up. Team, are doing a competitive match one after another, and before he knows it, it's 12 o'clock. It's midnight. Now, can he still ask his mom to sign his paper? Yeah, I'm sure he could. I'm sure he could still ask his mom to sign the paper, but you know what he does instead? He doesn't. Instead, he sleeps. And the next day, when the teacher asks him, oh, Why didn't you, Timmy, why didn't you get the signed paper by your mom? Why isn't it signed? He says, Oh, I forgot. Oh, but little Timmy, he didn't forget. He knew why. He'd rather play CSGO with his friends than get that paper signed. And that's an example of bad faith. Him denying the fact that he knew full well. He just procrastinated. Now, sometimes it's easier to live in bad faith. For example, if you were to say, oh, I watch CSGO, and blah, 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 yeah, the teacher would think he's a total, you know, total narc, you know, what is this kid? So sometimes it is easier to live in bad faith, but, 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 if you live your whole life by it, nah. See, there's actually some good points of existentialism. Just these kids that jam it down your throat, they like the pages on Facebook, and they keep on telling you every day. It's those kind of kids... Sorry, teens. It's teens that do this, not kids. That I really cannot stand. You see, I I'm the firm believer in, in choice, right? I'm the firm believer in, in free will. You know, if I want to live my life unauthentically, if, if I want to if I want to procrastinate my papers getting signed and say I forget, then, you know, by me, it's it's my decision. You know, it's my, it's my own life, you know. But uh, it's these kids that want to be the white knights. It's these kids that want to tell you how to live your life. These kids are fascists, all right? I'm, I'm going that way. They are fascists, these teens. They're, they're as worse as Nazis. You know, they're I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. But you see the similarity, you see the point, you know. The next thing they're going to be wearing brown shirts. <coughs> yeah. Anyways, these are the kids I really can't stand. They are have these, they want to tell you how to live. They want to tell you how to live your life. They want to tell you everything about yourself, what you're doing wrong. And uh, they think they're so different. They think they're so special. But really, kids like that. They've been, there have been kids like that each generation. So, yeah. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with like, being really excited about philosophies. Just don't jam it down people's throats, okay? Don't jam it down people. Don't tell people how to live. And you know what? You don't know best for everyone, kid. Sorry, teen. You don't know the best for everyone. Okay? Sometimes, you know, what if, what if I, I want to 
do that way? What if it's my goal to procrastinate getting that paper signed? Anyways, hope you guys like the video. If you do like the video, you can uh, subscribe and share. <laughs> now, nah, whatever, do what you want. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you do like it, do like it. Peace.